Very powerful okay. so and I'm teachable going to testimonies. Post some very powerful testimonies. And I'm also going to give you all wisdom as I'm going through some of these testimonies because many of you have a lot of similarities with some of the people that are in my membership. Very powerful testimonies. And I mean, when I say a night and day turnaround would be an understatement. And this membership has not been going for 30 days. I can't even imagine what God is going to do in the next 90 days for some of these people. Um, but I can because he's already told me. However, I want to post these testimonies because God is really showing out. This one I'm going to start with because this one was very powerful. She said, good morning, Genesis. After praying with you on a Zoom call, I listened to what you said, uh, thought about it. I believe and I didn't have a drink of alcohol last night. Um, instead, I meditated on all those scriptures you gave us. I quoted Ezekiel 36, 26, 100 times and prayed before I went to bed. When I got up this morning, my husband was here after being missing for two weeks. Thank you. Now, what's so powerful about this is because God says when you decree a thing it shall be established when she when i talked to her she told me that her husband had been missing for two weeks i decreed sunday because that's when i talked to her i decreed sunday within three days she would get the answers concerning her husband the very next day this is what she posted so i was like what we just talk Sunday. Um, but God says in his word to decree a thing and it shall be established. And it was. Okay, so this one says, on the last day of our seven-day prayer, one of my sisters admitted to going to see a psychic when she was in Hawaii. I knew she had been connected to one years ago, but when I was talking to her about repenting and all that Genesis had told us, she confessed, this is major. And I know the offense was against me, but I forgive her as God had told me about it already and impressed it in my spirit, but it has now been confirmed. Isn't it absolutely amazing when you know God tells you something and you stand true and you do not allow people to make you waver from what you know you heard God is saying, this is powerful. She said, Miss Genesis, I forgot to give my testimony of how four spiritual spouses had left. Jose, Antoine, Travis, and Martin, get out of here. She said, my health has improved since they left because I explained to you all that spirit spouses have name. If someone is doing deliverance on you and they tell you they have spirit spouses and they don't know the name or God doesn't confirm the name to you, nine times out of ten, that spirit spouse is still there. Okay, she said, testimony, my husband's student loans were 100% forgiven. I know he is benefiting from me sowing into your ministry, absolutely, because the two become one flesh. This one was so powerful. She said, you prayed for my son, gave me direction on meditating on certain scriptures, and this teacher emailed this to me. Um, I didn't put the email in because, um, you know, it gave her personal information like her name. But the reason why I'm posting this is because I just prayed with her last week, gave a direction, executed, and now a hundred percent turnaround in her son because you know the schools try to label your kids artistic delayed that's not the case i'm not saying that that's the case for everybody but i am saying in this case this was spiritual she said since i sold into this ministry my credit score has jumped 58 points Okay, testimony. God has been giving my mother, who is 69 years old, financial blessings. She was able to stop working at a job that did not provide any retirement or medical. I always wanted her to stop working because it was getting to be too much for her at her age. She now receives a monthly stipend as well as full medical benefits. Amen. So she gave another testimony. She said, I just realized before starting this membership, my son wasn't really talking. The nurse practitioner said he had a little autism, but I didn't accept that. It just didn't sit right. This morning, he started to count and repeat the letters off my shirt, and I could actually hear uh, the syllables. Not only that, I was released from multiple demonic spirits. My children were too. Thank you, Jesus and Miss Genesis. The reason why this is so powerful is because... Um, I believe this was her, um, but she had to confess for a lot of things. Um, one of those things being watching, I believe, um, pornography and stuff like that. I'm not 100% sure, but I do want to say this. When you watch porn, um, because a lot of people watch animal porn and they don't admit to it, okay? I want to tell you all, when you are very lustful, okay? Now, this is going to be mind-blowing. 
But your child can have a spirit of lust and it can cause your child to be delayed. A lot of people believe that they are called to do deliverance, but they don't partner with the Holy Spirit. And I would never trust anybody to do deliverance on me that doesn't rely solely on the Holy Spirit because they're going to send you off because you have people that have deliverance manuals. There's no deliverance manual when you have the Holy Spirit. I digress, but I just want to tell you all that because many of you are very, very lustful. Um, one of the things that I had people do in the membership today, there were people that were in the group that had sex in church. I had them to repent for those things. A lot of people can have a, a demonic stronghold of lust and it can affect your kids, especially when you don't repent, especially when you don't break these generational curse and start fasting. This is so powerful. Okay, so number one, her okay so we were doing the seven day prayer all right we were doing the seven day prayer while we were doing the seven day prayer she got a call that her brother was arrested for rape so listen to this this isn't a financial testimony but it is a testimony definitely my younger brother was arrested on his college campus while on his job for an accusation that was made with no investigation i did everything you taught us i interceded heavy and went into my heavenly language the whole night i kept repeating proverbs 6 and 31 and decreeing that he would find favor with the judge powerful well, the following morning, when it was time for him to see the judge and receive a bond, he never got a chance to because the judge didn't like the wording on the warrant. He was released. I kid you not. When she told us that in the group, I was like, what? So this is why I tell you all this so vital, <laughs> so vital um, for you to, number one, pray in your heavenly language, meditate on the word of God. And it was so powerful that she was connected to this ministry as well. This is absolutely mind blowing. And it goes to show you that a lot of things can be reversed through your obedience. Testimony. I remember a little over a month ago, I asked you to pray for me regarding wanting to live in another state and moving, living on my own. Today, I received an interview for one of the places I was interested in. I also received two a few days ago, due to me being in another state, um, I, one offered virtual. Hopefully the other one is able to do the same. I also will be moving out of my apartment this week. I was living with someone. I wasn't married. Thank you. And amen. I've been doing better since saving and managing my finances. Absolutely. Because here's the thing. I teach consecration. I don't, I do not turn a blind eye to fornication. I talk about this all the time. Um, I'm going to post another very powerful testimony from another one of the members who left a 14 year relationship. Um, and God is already activating her spiritual gifts. It is absolutely amazing what God is going to do through her. But this is so powerful. And her obedience is why she is being blessed. This is powerful because I tell you all all the time, all of these things, um, all of these little foxes will be the reason why you do not get ahead. You cannot live a life and do whatever you want to do and be and it be pleasing to the father. You have to follow his orders, his laws, his precepts, his ordinances. I say this all the time. If God says to flee from fornication, it is for a good reason because you are defiling your body when you do so.